A common requirement is to keep unknown and untrusted devices off the network. With zero trust capabilities, any unrecognized device is prevented from joining the network. And this demo will show both the end-user experience and the administrative controls. We'll start this demonstration by logging into the web interface of the appliance. And with this overview screen, we can basically see there's currently three devices on the network. Two of them are Windows, and one is an embedded device. If we scroll down, we can see there's been zero new devices on the network in the past 24 hours. And we also can see there's been zero new devices in the past seven days based on this trend line. Let's go ahead and drill down on these devices and see what they, what they are. So currently on the network, we can see there's a Windows server, a Fortinet firewall, and a Windows 10 client. We're going to bring another device on the network. It's going to be Linux-based, and we'll see what happens when a new unknown device shows up. To do that, let's go to these unknown device. And this is a Linux operating system. It's not currently connected to the network, so the first thing we're going to do is just connect it to the network. So it's now connected to the network. If I open up a browser, his internet traffic will be blocked, and it'll be redirected to a capture portal page. I also won't be able to send any kind of traffic on the network. If I try to ping the default gateway, that's also going to be blocked. It will not be able to go through. Same thing if he tries to go to the internet or any other resource, that will also be blocked. So as an unknown device on the network, he's getting zero trust and being completely quarantined. Now, he would be able to register as a guest if we allow it. And we can see a guest registration demo in a different video. Let's go back and look at the web interface here and see the management uh, point of view. So I'll refresh this view. And when we refresh it, we can see that there is now four devices on the network. One of them is being restricted. We can see that the device was profiled as a Linux operating system. If I scroll down, I also see there's been a new untrusted device seen for the first time. And that's also confirmed on the trend line here. So I can drill down on any one of these charts here. And we can basically see the information about this device. So we see the MAC address, the host name, that it's restricted, it's untrusted, it's operating system, it's IP address, etc. Of course, administrator might want to get real-time alerts when an unknown device shows up on the network. So that's also can be done. And the appliance can send out those alerts. So let's take a quick look at a mail client and we're just logging as the administrator. And here we can see an email has been sent with basically the same information about this unknown device has joined the network. Because this email was sent so quickly, it didn't have the profile information done yet, but all the other information is there and complete inside that email. And that's basically the administrator experience. So in, in summary, any unknown device is going to have zero trust and be completely restricted until it's been authorized. Thanks for watching.